right, today we're in beautiful Ada, Michigan, outside of Egypt Valley Country Club, ready to show you our latest and greatest product review. This is a Music Host Moment. So now we're inside, and this stack of gear is gonna turn into this. All right, so here we are. We've got all our gear in the ballroom, ready to set up for the event. I'm gonna set my timer on the phone, and we're gonna go not from start to finish, but from cart to finish. Ready? Here we go. So our timer says just under seven minutes. Hopefully you can see that. And that was with the speakers and that was with me having a little bit of cable management, uh, you know, issues getting that out of the leg. I like to keep my cables in the leg. Some people will roll them up and take them completely out. The other thing, option two with this is you can run, um, you know, I run my XLRs down one leg and then send over. You can do an XLR in each leg if you want. It's really just your personal preference. But that was it, pretty much, from cart to finish, under seven minutes. It's pretty quick. Let's go look at the Infinity booth and some of the details and cool options that you can get with yours. All right, so here we are behind the Infinity L console from Max Design DJ and photo booth gear. That's maxpbdesign.com if you want to check it out the website for more details and info and pricing and all that kind of stuff. This thing's really cool. I mean, it's only 63 pounds with the top and the base plate and the two legs and a little bit of weight for the controller depending on your controller obviously it does fit up to a 30 inch controller in length 15 inches in width i'm pretty much i'm running the ddg ddj 1000 srt here and it's pretty much maxed out if you want to go a little bit bigger or you have a bigger controller danny has been kind enough to invent the xl version or maybe you just want a little bit more surface space uh, whatever your comfort level is it's structural grade composite with a high gloss finish. So it's scratch resistant, it's waterproof, it's stain proof. It's got a three year warranty. This thing's rock solid. I'm not gonna jump on top of it, but it's not going anywhere, I'll tell you that. Um, the controller can be left in as you saw in my setup. So your setup time is super fast. I just ran again, two XLRs down and my power cable down. And the last thing I wanna talk about is Comes with an iPad or a laptop stand. I added my own iPad sort of extension here for my notes and whatnot, but it does have a spot for two. So if you wanted another uh, laptop stand over here, that's an additional accessory you can get. Also comes as an additional accessory option, two ApeLab coins that will illuminate the legs of the booth. Cool to put on sound active when you're doing an event, get uh, or just set the mood for maybe the, the whole night. These on either side have some storage. So these are called cubby tops. They usually come with a double-sided, just plain one, but you can also have the option of getting one that'll hold your ApeLab coins light controller if you want. Also an option is to have one side cut out for your microphone so it doesn't roll off if you want to set that there like that. And my favorite feature, the infamous cup holder. Uh, on those hot summer days, you want to keep the water bottle handy right near your side and don't worry about it spilling over your gear it's right there could make a nice tip jar too who knows um, there's a couple of still and go options on the back here that we're going to show you and then i will tell you what's inside my booth underneath
Okay, so now we're behind the console. I wanna show you a couple of add-on options that I think are super important and you might want them for your Infinity Boot. One is a Stow and Go headphone hook. It's a nice accessory. It's really easy to install. There's two screws that hold a base plate and then one screw that holds the hook itself and it's a perfect location for putting your headphones. The other is a Stow and Go hook for your microphone. Also very handy, same technology there, another base plate, two screws, one screw holds the actual part that swings out, and there you go. All right, so let's get into the sort of the innards of the booth, and this is all gonna be personal preference on your setup and what you need. One accessory I don't have that Danny offers is a gooseneck, and that's because I don't traditionally use one. I always use a wireless at my events, but you can certainly get one from his website. It's a gooseneck attachment. It basically screws into the inside of one of the cubbies, and you get a panel that has a notch out, and it, it's kind of stow and go as well. Um, I don't have that accessory, so that's why I didn't show it in this video, but it is available. What I've done, uh, again, personal preference, like I said, I use a wireless microphone, so I have mine pre-wired. I have my receiver embedded in the cubby over here on my left. Um, I have my power conditioner rack mounted here. Um, there's some pull out lights when the room's dark and I need to check some notes or whatever. Um, I can do that as well. I actually have a USB docking station as well for multiple USB ports that I hook my Ape Lab coins up to. I run my iPad power out of that. And I actually have another cable that's in here for my uh, phone, or if a guest needs to come charge their phone, I have that available for them as well. Really cool, really innovative, and you can get as creative as you want with one of these, or keep it as basic as you want. It's up to you. So the other cool part about the setup of this booth, there's no nuts and bolts, there's no screwdrivers involved, there's no little thumb knobs, there's five latches in each leg, that's it. Three at the bottom and two at the top. So basically just reach in, Pull it up, hear that snap, that snap. Another super innovative idea that Danny thought of when he was designing the Infinity console booth was cable management. So as we mentioned, each of the legs are hollow. They can illuminate with the Ape Lab coins, but you don't want your cord showing in that light shadow. There's a simple recess in here where you can put your cables in. Turn this little lever here and it's tucked away. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you need more details on this, the Infinity console L or XL versions, go to maxpbdesign.com. Thanks for tuning in. Another product review from Music Host Entertainment. If you like what you saw today, be sure to hit the bell and subscribe to our channel for future product reviews and other various content that we offer. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.